Making a film is very hard. It takes a lot of people, a lot of work, but a lot of people think that's the hardest part, that if you could just make the film, then you're done. It turns out that the actual hardest part of the film is not the film itself, but it's really two things. One, getting people to even know that your film exists, and that's really hard. And then two, incentivizing them to spend their time to watch your film. Beaumont, B-E-A, yeah, French Beaumont. Four hours and 49 minutes. Okay. So one of the ways that you get people to know your film exists and hopefully come and see it is that you take your film and you put it in film festivals because then you've got audience that you don't know and they don't know anything about your film. Plus, you get the nominations and the selection laurels that you get to put on your poster and it just gives your film a little bit of buzz. And that is why we're heading out to Beaumont, Texas. All right, it looks like this is where the festival's at. It looks like they've got a lot of cool stuff lined up, so we're gonna go check that out. Okay, so I'm pretty sure I was not supposed to be filming in this room, but I was trying to show the size of the screen and this still looks small. Okay, so there were about 20, 15, 20 people there watching the show. It's kind of dark, so I can't really show them. But all in all, pretty good turnout for a festival and being opening night, pretty good. I'm not, I'm not really sure who this guy is right here. I might have to look this up. He's wearing a Cincinnati Reds uniform, but this is Beaumont, Texas. So it seems a little bit out of place, but. All right, so it seems that there is a filmmaker get together where a bunch of people are gonna be talking about their films. So we are most definitely gonna go check that out. Talk to people, let them know about Washington's armor. Maybe get a few people. He said I could drive it next. <laughs> Well, day one, done, film, watched. Everything went really good. People seemed to like it. Had a lot of good reviews. And now we just gotta get back to our hotel and uh, get ready for all the stuff tomorrow. Got the award show coming up. Should be pretty good. Boomtown, the festival. There it is, Washington's Armor. Right there. So there are two tricky things about festivals. Uh, the first is you never really know how many people are going to show up. The other tricky thing about festivals is the judging. I think from my count in their brochure guide, there's about 20 films or so that are features and the rest are shorts. So I don't know, maybe we'll win something tonight. to the seminar that's next on how to film action. Washington's Armor has a bunch of action. Maybe there's something we can apply. The camera can't see what's happening. You know what I'm saying? The camera can't, the camera can't see that. The camera can see this. If you throw in a punch here, it can totally see that. So a lot of people wonder why you come to a film festival if they're only gonna have like 15 people to uh, watch their film. But the thing is, if these 15 people watch the film and then these 15 people say, hey, yeah, we saw this movie, we liked it, and they tell their friends, then over time that kind of multiplies and you end up with the following. Plus, you also end up with all the people that you end up talking to at festivals and they ask you what films you're there for and you tell them about it. And even if they don't go to the showing because they met you, they're more likely to watch the film and then rate the film and then it does better when it comes out. I've met somebody from Rhode Island Florida, Alabama, Louisiana, 
Kansas, and Oklahoma. None of those people had ever heard of Washington's Armor, but they have now. Which means just by hitting this one festival and talking about it, we've now kind of increased that reach over that much more of the country. Fun fact about Beaumont, Texas, this is the world's largest working fire hydrant. Why they have such a large fire hydrant in Beaumont, I'm not sure. Maybe they have really large dogs. Here's what I would say about the judging at film festivals. It is unknowable. Every judge has their own preferences, they have their own agendas, they have their own things. It's impossible to know how well you're gonna do at any given festival. You just, it is unknowable. Pretty amazing mural of a dog wearing a hat. Another mural, I think it's a demon raccoon. It's art, who can say? Turns out it's Jackie Robinson, who was on the Dodgers and ended up moving to the Reds, and I don't know the rest of his career. And why he's on a wall here in Beaumont, I don't know. It's the award show. Award show time. We're gonna. I hope you saw some great movies. Let's begin with the student films. Experimental and music video. I think I might actually be a little bit sick right now. Just the anticipation is slightly killing me. Winning screenplay this year. Third place. Still not our category yet. It's not our category. Second place. All right. Uh, next award. Real Faith Award. Third place. Take Me Away. Second place. The Decision. And first place. Benny Arbogast. The award for short documentary. Narrative short. Texas Proud Shorts. Narrative feature award. The third place goes to Panache. Second place goes to Hideout. And first place, the winner of the Narrative Feature Award goes to The Banality. Congratulations. The award for Texas Proud Features. Third place to Texas Proud Feature goes to A Town Full of Ghosts. Second place, The Quilt. And first place, the winner of the Texas Proud feature goes to Dangerous Ones. Congratulations to the winner. Come on, yeah, that's the Yeah, so just like that, it's kind of over, and we didn't win. But that's just kind of how it goes, I guess, sometimes. Sometimes. Sometimes you don't win, but that's okay, because in the end, you get to meet some cool people, you spread the word, and you keep doing good. And if you really want to, try again next time. But I'm not gonna lie. It does hurt a little bit. Fortunately, there are only like a million other festivals. So, if at first you don't succeed, <laughs> 